Hello students. Today we want to talk about how to paraphrase and how to remove plagiarism from your research work. If a research is very good but it is full of plagiarism, it would be rejected and it is considered as an intellectual crime. So today we will discuss how can we finish or remove plagiarism. Okay, first of all, let's see what is plagiarism. Plagiarism is uh, stealing ideas of others without giving them uh, due credit. Uh, you are looking at this corner picture that a black person it means he is a negative person, wrong person. He is having ideas on his back and he is running away. So if you are taking ideas of others and you pose that these ideas are your own, but in reality those ideas are not your own. So it means you are uh, committing intellectual crime. What are its effects on your research? First of all, every university checks it. Uh, plagiarism or similarity index with Turnitin software and if it is found more than 19% your research work is rejected. If it is less than 19 it is accepted. One very uh, dominating event has happened in the past that there was a president of Hungary Pal Schmidt. He has uh, uh, written a thesis and uh, it was uh, full of copy paste and uh, he became president later on. When people realize that our president is uh, a criminal, he has copied uh, others' work, so people protested against him, and he has to leave his uh, president seat and president office. So this is such a big crime that it can remove a person from his seat uh, even after the person has become a very uh, prominent uh, person. Okay, now how can we combat plagiarism? How can we remove plagiarism? There are two techniques, paraphrasing and giving reference. I have uh, uh, written my MPhil thesis and PhD dissertation and my similarity index was 4%. So I have used these techniques and I want to share with you so that you can also get benefit from these techniques. Okay, never deceive, uh, never try to deceive uh, your authorities. Never use paraphrase softwares or tools. Some students just upload the text in the paraphrase tools and they try to deceive people. Please don't do this. The result is we can easily detect that this uh, paraphrasing has been done by human beings or this paraphrase has been done by softwares. Never hire ghostwriters. Some people write, uh, hire ghostwriters. Uh, don't use images or snaps uh, in your work except if it's a real image. If you have given the real picture, uh, it's fine. If uh, you are changing your text into pictures, this is crime. Because Turnitin easily arrests the criminals of academia. Okay, only three attempts are allowed. So you should remove your uh, similarity index. Uh, do not use Viper software or turn it in before the real turn it in. Uh, and uh, when you uh, give reference, you should give uh, use APA 7th edition and paraphrase. If you follow these two techniques, your research work would be free from plagiarism. Okay, how to paraphrase? A paraphrase is when you write the ideas of published authors in your own words without changing the original meaning. You will not change the meanings, but you will change the words. You will write those ideas in your own words. Okay, uh, the question is, how can I change the words? You can change the words with the help of thesaurus or with the help of synonyms. Okay, now question is, where are words? Those words are present in www.thesaurus.com. You can also get Oxford Thesaurus and this is the file 6 which I have shared with you in the Sirius Data Google Classroom. Uh, 
you will change the structure of the paragraph. Change the structure of the paragraph means if the original uh, paragraph has uh, compound sentences, you can write complex sentences. Or if the original paragraph is in simple sentences, you can convert those simple sentences into compound or complex sentences. So you will change the structure. You will change the word with the help of thesaurus, but you will not change the essence of the uh, ideas. And uh, you will give index citation and uh, a full fledged reference. Now I show you how does uh, thesaurus.com works. For example, the word is explain. You will write over there and you will search. It will show in front of you analyze, clarify, define, demonstrate, describe, disclose, expound, illustrate, interpret, and so many others. So you can choose any word which serve your purpose. For example, explain, expound is a beautiful word. Illust uh, and interpret is also a beautiful word. Justify or analyze, they are also a beautiful word. Decipher is a beautiful word. Elucidate is a good word. Explicate is also a wonderful word. So you can choose the word which suits you. And you can also see the meaning here. So this tool is wonderful. I will uh, suggest that you should use this thesaurus tool. Okay, second way is that MS Word synonyms. Suppose uh, you find this word, you will just click and then you will right click. And uh, in MS Word file, you will find synonym and uh, there would be five, six synonyms would be given and you can choose any synonym. This can be the one way. And uh, uh, in paper-based work, uh, you can find Oxford Thesaurus, Cambridge Thesaurus and Penguin Thesaurus. They are very good uh, and uh, you can get their soft copies. As I have shared uh, already, bok.org, this is a website where there is a big repository of uh, books uh, is present. You can download all these thesaurus free of cost. Uh, there are steps to effective paraphrasing. Read the original passage. Take notes. Uh, uh, bullet notes. Take a few words. Set the original work aside and paraphrase. This is the best technique uh, for paraphrasing. And I have followed this technique and my similarity index was just 4%. Use quotation marks to identify any unique term of phraseology. You can uh, use quotation marks. And uh, if there is some definition, some key term, you can keep it as it is. Otherwise, you should uh, change the text. Record the source on the spot in text citation and reference. Because if you say that uh, you can, you want to write uh, in text citation and reference afterwards, you cannot uh, find them afterwards. So when you read, paraphrase, give in-text citation and reference at the same time. Then you should create researcher's voice. You are not here just to paraphrase paragraph and paragraph and now this is your research. No. After giving the reference, you will create your own researcher's voice. Researcher's voice means you will interpret. You will give your own commentary on that quoted uh, material. You will uh, link it with your own work. You can find out the weaknesses and how your research work will fill that gap or that weakness. So you can uh, build argument on the basis of that quotation or on the basis of that paraphrased material. This is very important that researcher's voice must be added. Paraphrasing sentences, I'm showing you some examples. Original is, her life spanned years of incredible change for women. Paraphrases, she lived through an unbelievable era of liberating reform for women. Original is, giraffes like acacia leaves and hay and they can consume 75 pounds of food a day. Its paraphrase is, a giraffe can eat up to 75 pounds of acacia leaves and hay every day. Look at, ideas are same, but wording is uh, 
different. I give you another example. Here is uh, original text, and this is below is a plagiarized version. For example, students frequently overuse direct quotation in taking notes. Look here, students frequently has been changed into often, and then uh, there is a quotation in taking notes here when taking notes. So if you change. Uh, two three words in a sentence this uh, even then it would be called a plagiarized version basically this uh, turnitin software works that if uh, three words are same so it shows that it has similarity a legitimate paraphrase legitimate mean a legal and correct paraphrase is that uh, the, this paragraph uh, black colored paragraph it has been paraphrased in this way in research papers, learners often quote excessively, failing to keep quoted material down to a desirable level. Since the problem usually originates during note taking, it is essential to minimize the material recorded verbatim. And this is Leicester 1976 is in text citation. And uh, uh, its a full reference would be given in the end of your research work or in the end of your thesis. Uh, you should work hard. In the beginning, it will take some time, but after uh, paraphrasing 8 to 10 paragraphs, your speed will be enhanced and you can easily paraphrase. Second step is uh, reference generation made easy. I have made another video. This is the third uh, video and uh, you can uh, make references. So two things uh, are required. First of all, first uh, thing is that you will just uh, change structure and change words. This would be called paraphrasing. And uh, next is uh, giving in-text citation and full reference. This would be making reference. So if you are able to paraphrase, and uh, produce uh, reference, your work will be free from plagiarism. So this is the requirement of academia. Thank you so much. Feel free to ask anything. I'm here to assist you. Best wishes.